Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM and tonight's Halloween weekend triple feature. These three films are all seminal horror movies produced between 1968 and 1978. We begin in the middle from 1971, a British production starring one of America's great horror stars, Vincent Price. This is the abominable Dr. Fives. Price is Dr. Fives, and as soon as we meet him, we realize he's not a well man. He needs intense talk therapy. Instead, he plans to deal with his issues by killing all the doctors and nurses he blames for his wife's death. She died years earlier on the operating table. The lead surgeon on his wife's case, played by Joe Cotton. Dr. Fives is a memorable movie character. He'd been badly injured and disfigured in a crash years earlier, and now he dresses up in a black robe and he hides his face. Unable to speak, he communicates through a wire connected from his neck into a Victrola. Mostly, he's singularly focused on vengeance, using the Bible's ten plagues of Egypt as his inspiration. Price thought making fives a doctor was a logical choice for horror. People are wary of doctors, Price explained, and mystified by the paraphernalia of surgery and medical research. It's always been a rich field for horror stories. Although set in England in the 1920s, director Robert Fust gives the film an anachronistic look and tone. Feels closer to the swinging 60s than the roaring 20s. Fust, justly unconcerned with details like that, also uses songs that weren't written until years later. This is a horror film, no doubt, but it has elements of dark comedy. Whatever blend Fust whipped up, audiences dug in. The film's poster set up the tone. It shows the disfigured Dr. Fives looking as if he's about to kiss a woman under the tagline, love means never having to say you're ugly. Remember the year 1971. This came one year after Paramount's huge hit love story with its now famous though entirely baffling tagline, love means never having to say you're sorry. From 1971, also with Hugh Griffith and Terry Thomas, the Abominable Dr. Fives. The Abominable Dr. Fives was a success for its distributor, American International Pictures, and Vincent Price and director Robert Fust quickly reunited for a sequel the following year, 1972, Dr. Fives Rises Again. While many of Price's films were made by AIP in the 1960s, he had a tense relationship with studio chief Samuel Z. Arkoff. A few years before Fives, Vincent Price was set to be AIP's guest of honor at a rap party for his film Cry of the Banshee. It was his last with the studio under his current contract, and Price, fed up with a string of mediocre films, was very eager to end the association. Director Gordon Hessler asked Price to cut a cake during a ceremony, but when Hessler couldn't find a knife, Price quickly offered that he should take the knife that's in my back. Up next, the seminal black-and-white shocker that set the template for the modern zombie film. 